Hey everybody, it's Jeff from Elk Mountain Gear and um, what I've got here is a couple of wild turkey legs. Uh, I used the breast in another recipe. This is uh, my son's first wild turkey that he killed. It's a really good sized gobbler. And so what I'm going to do with these legs is actually I'm going to slow roast them so that we can get the meat off the bone so we can make us a turkey pie. And what I did first was I covered the legs in a salt and pepper blend and then forked it into the meat. And now I'm going to put them in the skillet and we're going to brown them a little bit on both sides before we put them in the oven to slow roast them. Um, so I've heated up some coconut oil here. You could use anything, canola, uh, whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and brown those uh, legs. So what I'm going to do now is uh, transfer the browned uh, legs and thighs to a Pyrex dish and I'm going to add a can of uh, chicken broth. I'm going to cover this with foil and I'm going to roast these in the oven at about 250 for about four hours or until the meat's fallen off the bone. So I've removed these turkey legs from the oven and what we're left with now is this delicious stock that's in the roasting pan and um, these turkey legs and this uh, meat will, can be easily shredded off this bone now and uh, I'm going to take the stock and uh, mix it with milk and take a little bit and reserve it and mix it with some cornstarch and, and That'll be the uh, stock for the pie. You could use cream of chicken soup, but this is going to be better. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with all that now.
So once you have this meat off the bone now, you can just go ahead and uh, chop it all up and get it ready to put in the pie. Now I'm going to attempt to thicken up this stock mixture uh, with the milk and the cornstarch and the turkey stock. You should only have to boil this for a couple of minutes once you get it to a boil and it should thicken up. So now you can see that this sauce is a lot thicker here, the stock. And so I'm just going to add the meat and vegetables to the stock. and. Uh, We'll go ahead and just uh, reserve that pie filling and we'll make our pie crust. So you've heard the term easy as pie and um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a pie crust. This is a Betty Crocker cookbook that we've had in our family for a long time. It's taped up and beat up. It's probably almost as old as I am. Um, anyway, no matter what you think about Betty, she did know how to cook and this is a very simple easy recipe uh, to make a two pie crust. Two crust pie. Anyway. We'll get it started. So I've got all the ingredients together to make this pie crust here. Now I just want to say if you're a kid and you're watching this and you have a mom that likes to cook, spend some time with your mom in the kitchen and uh, learn how to cook. It's, it's uh, one thing to follow a recipe and another thing to actually physically do some of these things. And uh, I'm really happy I got to spend some time in the kitchen with my mom learned how to cook when I was young uh, before she passed on. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this going. The first thing we want to do is uh, get our flour together and of course when you're uh, putting dry ingredients in and measuring you always want to level out your flour when you're making your measurements. This calls for one and three quarters cups of flour. We're going to do that right now. And we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. And a third of a cup of vegetable oil. And this is to make a two crust pie. I always follow this recipe to the T. I've never varied from it. It always comes out perfect. So we're going to mix all this together and then we're going to sprinkle in a little at a time cold water. Uh, three tablespoons, maybe three or four depending on how the mixture reacts. 
um, what we want to do is is mix it until we get particles about the size of peas. So I'm going to do that now. So what I'm going to do now is gather this pastry into a ball, basically. You can see about halfway through I uh, put the uh, mixture into a larger mixing bowl. Uh, that was my mistake. You definitely want to use a large mixing bowl when you start out for this. So you can see when the pastry is right, it kind of cleans the bowl as you're gathering it up. You can kind of clean the bowl with it. Um, and then you just gather it into a nice round ball, cut it. And now what we're going to do is get ready to actually roll out the crust. And we're going to do that right now. So the first thing you want to do when you're rolling out a crust is you want to clean and moisten your work area. and. Um, I'm going to do that right now, get this chopping block nice and clean and a little bit wet. We're going to use wax paper to roll out the crust and I'll show you how that works. So you can see when you put this wax paper down on a wet board it kind of sticks to it and that's good because it keeps it from sliding around when you're rolling out your pie crust. And uh, So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take one half of the pie crust and go ahead and roll that out now and that will be the inner crust and we'll do the top crust next. Well, somewhere we have a really nice rolling pin, and I can't find it, so um, necessity is the mother of invention. I'm going to use this thermos from Costco. Uh, we're going to lay the other sheet of wax paper over the top of this one, and we're going to roll this out uh, so that it'll fit a 9-inch pie pan. So you can see now I've got a nice uh, flattened crust, very thin. Um, you're going to use the wax paper to help transfer it into the pie pan and I'll show you how we do that.
So I've got I've got our pie filling mixture here and it's ready to go so I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in there and then we'll uh, repeat the crust process and make the top crust and cover it up and get her going. So if your vegetables are cooked, you're going to bake this at 425 for about 15 minutes. Since these were raw, I'm going to bake it low and slow at about 325 for about an hour. And that should get it nice and done. So an hour later, we got a nice golden brown turkey pie. And I've this has been cooling for a while. I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece. That's excellent. You can cover this with foil and put it in the fridge and eat on it for a week if you want to. Um, anyway, just another recipe and uh, best of luck to you guys this season.